you can sell everything on Dock as soon as it has something related to fashion. Otherwise, it doesn't really make sense, right? Yeah. Da sind wir erstmal. Ein äh, frohes neues Jahr. Äh, Happy New Year in die Runde. Dennis, bist du gut ins neue Jahr gestartet? Hervorragend. Vielen Dank. Äh, ich äh, habe ja auch von dir, ich habe es direkt auch hier. Das schöne Geschenk oh. äh, habe ich bekommen ja von dir. Äh, vielen mhm. Dank nochmal. Und ja, war alles, alles easy going. Ich kann mich nicht beschweren. Sehr schön. Mhm. Ja, auch sehr ruhig. Ich habe auch ein schönes Geschenk, ich habe es allerdings nicht an, äh, auch von dir bekommen äh, über die Feiertage, aber ähm, auch sehr gut ins, ins neue Jahr gestartet und ich freue mich, dass wir direkt loslegen mhm. mit einer äh, International, äh, mit einem International Podcast and uh, now for this I switch to English uh, for, for our guest. Yes, we, because we have today an international guest. So sorry for my English again before for our listeners and uh, for my guest. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed almost every week on, on this platform um, or almost every second day. Um, and a lot of people ask us about this platform. So we are very happy uh, to welcome you, uh, Kevin from uh, Focked. Well, I'm very happy to be here, uh, Marcus Dennis. Thanks for for having me. It's a happy New Year to you and to and to all the listeners, and also very happy to to meet you guys. Great. So, uh, where where do we meet you, Kevin? Where where are you from? Uh, I'm from the I'm from Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, originally, I grew up in Normandy, but uh, lived in Paris for a while and studied in in the south of France, mid, mid of France, and uh, and right now I'm based in based out of Paris. Nice. Uh, Nice. How, how, how was New Year in Paris? Uh, I've never been there. In, is there a big uh, on the uh, tour? Well, actually, I think there is a big firework, but to, but I was not in Paris actually for the, for the New Year. I was, uh, I was down where I studied. I have a couple of friends living there. So it was very low key family, you know, family friends uh, kind of celebration. I don't know how is it in Germany? Like, is it a big thing or do you do like big parties or? Where Marcus is, is always a party. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I have to say, because it's always the question, how do you celebrate? It's, uh, I think today I asked, answered this four times, but I say, <laughs> I think it's it changed. So from, from when I was a younger in the nineties, then I go to party, but now I enjoy it, as you said, with friends, family and yeah, close friends and you just enjoy times with. And the I think a typical German thing, uh, we also did it, is raclette, uh, eating raclette. Ah, I did the same. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's the best season, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, as I said, we, we are happy to have you. Um, you are from uh, Focked, so maybe you can sh start to introduce a bit about yourself. What are you doing? Who are you uh, that the listeners know? Yeah, of course. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm one of the three co-founders of Vogt. So there's three people behind the, the company at the beginning, myself, Quentin, uh, the CEO and uh, Lucas, our CTO. Um, and, and just briefly about me before we go into Vogt and why we're doing that. Um, I have a background in e-commerce. I have some ties with the, with Germany because I was working for a German launch company. Uh, it's called Jumia. It's uh, e-commerce in Africa. Mm -hmm. It was launched by Rocket Internet that you might know, uh, you know, the guys behind Alondo and, and these kind of companies. Um, yeah, exactly. So it's, uh, I, spent I spent five years doing e-commerce e there. So between France and Africa. Uh, so very good experience, you know, met a lot of different people, a lot of cultures, a lot of different ways of working. So super interesting. And then after that, I work a little bit in a, in a French company called Mano Mano, who also work in, uh, in Germany. If you are, if you're doing some, you know, work in your house or DIY or these kind of things, um, you know, gardening tools, etc. You can buy from them. They're very good. Um, and, and after that, uh, I, I launched the first startup, didn't work. That's the, I think that's the life of any entrepreneurs. You start, you try. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I think that you know the journey is more important than, than anything. And, and then we came up with the with the Vogt ideas, mm. and that was beginning of 2021 when we when I was with Quentin already, and we met Lucas, and we we thought, okay, let's let's do that. So so what what brought you to to that idea? Like, did you did you analyze the market? That's what that's what what's needed right now. Is it like the typical? eight wines and 800 beers and this is what we want to do or what what uh, so yeah so uh, basically the idea was that we we really had a conviction that we still have that uh, e-commerce needs something new uh, because we have you know very very good uh, 
companies, I mean, Amazon, Zalando, all these companies, like they're extremely good in e-commerce, but it's very kind of boring in the sense that if you don't know what to buy, if you're passionate about something, you don't really have your place on, on that. You don't have a place for you. There is no place for you on, I think, on the, on the regular e-commerce. It's very good if you know what you want to buy. If you're looking for a specific thing, you can buy it on Amazon. Like, it takes five seconds. You're very happy, and you receive it the next day. That's perfect. But that's good if you if you want toilet paper or or a computer, right? But if you're passionate about something, like like we all are, there was something miss, missing. So that was the first point. And, and and the second point was we really had wanted to do something around video. So for us, it was like, how do we solve this boring boringness issue? Is is through videos. You look at you know the new platform Twitch, TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube, all of these platforms. Like we co we consume a lot of video content, um, and also I mean, and also a video, but also voice. I mean we're we're doing a podcast right now. It's because people you know like to hear, like to uh, they like to read, but they also want to hear. They want to have kind of this interaction with the with the creators that uh, that you are that that our sellers are. Right? So so that was. That was the starting point. I call it the space has to has to link e-commerce, video, and passion, um, and uh, yeah, and analyzing a bit the market, what was what was being done in in France, and we were seeing things on on Facebook groups where people were doing lives, selling Pokemon cards, selling fashion, selling the other items. We thought, okay, that that looks like something something quite cool. So let's see if that that's going to work. If we can improve the, the experience, and this is how we how we went about it, starting with Pokemon cards in France very low key saying okay you know very humble around it like there are communities we are here to serve these passionate people but how can we have a product that helped them and, and that was the starting point you know one life after the other improving the product and, and here we are today so that's you, so you start in 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 france and then yeah. uh with pokemon um, yeah exactly in okay. pokemon then we expand it to other you know categories like Magic, Magic, Magic: The Gathering cards, Yu-Gi-Oh, all trading card games. Uh, sports, sports cards are not that much a big, big of a thing in uh, in France, to be honest. Even though I actually also did a podcast with uh, people from a sports podcast in French, mm -hmm. in France. So, like, funnily enough, uh, it, it looks like something that I think it's, it's smaller than it is in Germany, but it's uh, it was very, very nice. They're very good people. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then we also, you know, tried to do some figurines, toys, toys and figurines like Funko Pops, these kind of things. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was at the beginning, then we opened in the UK, uh, in the UK in May, in Germany in September, then uh, Netherlands at the end of September, and Spain in October. Okay. So we're right, right now in these five five markets. Um, and we mostly focus so and so we mostly focus on trading card games, but as we we're discussing offline before before uh, be, be, before the, the call, we also sell other categories. We have now sneakers. Uh, we have fashion that is starting, um, and, and I think the common the common point because you were asking Dennis like why can't I sell vinyls or this kind of thing? You can sell everything on Vogue as soon as it has something related to passion. Otherwise, it doesn't really make sense, right? If you want to say sell a washing machine, you can sell it on Amazon or on eBay. That's going to work, right? But if you want, because no one is really passionate about washing machines, but as soon as you're oh, passionate and you want, you... my mother, she's a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe maybe she can start some that some lives on the platform. But um, but but my point here is the experience of live is like, is really around the interaction. It's like yeah. how do you talk you with your like people even before being buyers or sellers, they're actually passionate like collectors and passionate people. So you could actually do a live and not even like not sell that much. It's just like you, you you're gonna have a good time. And I think that's why this is the reason why people you know test the platform is because they wanna have fun and they want they wanna say, okay, maybe I just pass by, not gonna buy anything. I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. But I I, I know that the promise is I will be in a live with other people that, that are passionate about what about a given category, about sports card, about soccer cards, uh, football cards, or whatever, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a discussion, and I think that's really the starting point. So as as soon as you have this, you can sell anything. I think. Mm -hmm. So vinyls would probably they would probably come by, and actually, what we see is a sometimes we see okay, let's let's start with that category, but actually you realize that communities come and say okay, I want to sell that. So okay, let's let's do it. You can do it. Like why would I prevent you from doing that? And they do it, and then it works well, and then other people come, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think it's really the community makes the platform and makes what they want to sell on it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, so because, because what I really like, and I don't know, 
you start start with Fogged in time of COVID, or then you said 2021, or was yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit after, I mean, after the big hit, like it was not really lockdowns, but it was, you know, semi-lockdown and, and a bit afterwards, yeah. But it yeah. was, depending because, on country to country, yeah. Because also there, there was the interaction in yeah. COVID, of course, was also, also missing. Limited, yeah. Yeah, um, but what what I really ought, like what you said, if you um, have, uh, yeah, you like the product and you can tell something, but also I like the interaction when you show the backside, show mm -hmm. the corner, sh show it closer. So I like it's also kind kind of interaction what you can really go on on the ask uh, can can answer on on questions for the customers. So uh, this is the yeah exactly the action I like. Yeah. Uh, actually, you can really. It, it basically it's like it's like being in a card shop right it's it's mm -hmm. like you have your own like as a seller you kind of are, if you think about it when you open if you if tomorrow you open your own card shop you're not going to have so many people coming in well, well actually because people might not be in the city they might not be available etc etc right and, and so the interaction is you have one-to-one -one interaction but not so much well actually in the live which is super cool is you just open the live you have five ten fifteen maybe thirty people coming in at the same time and it's all already like becoming like kind of fair and you just you know having fun discussing with the people people talk between each other talk with you you talk to them and as you said like you can really show the items you can sometimes you you see sellers that are they're, they're just showing showing product they're not going to sell it's just because it's part of their collection and they want to share and people are super happy to see like mm -hmm. uh you have this you know you have this uh, this card that i've never seen before you have this which is signed by the player or you have this pokemon card that is you know signed by the designer or this kind of thing and and that i think is something super valuable and it's a kind of interaction you you can't really have on um, you know you can't have this on a on a regular website yeah. Yeah. so so if somebody decides okay i want to to sell cards or whatever on on fox can you lead us through the process real quick what what the person needs to do to yeah. to get get like a fox show yeah so it's it's quite easy basically you when you want to so you have to create your profile as a, as a user, a user profile, uh, because the user and the seller are linked. And then you can apply to become a seller. Uh, we ask you a couple of questions, um, you know, to make sure that we want we want people that are that are at least a bit serious around around what they're going to do. You don't want people that are just going, you know, here to to just sell one card or just that don't want to really care or that that are not going to care about it because it also takes a lot of time for us to set everything everything up. Mm -hmm. So we we ask a couple of questions. Then usually we we call back. Uh, we have kind of a waiting list. Just the reason is everything everything is not yet automated, and we also want to have today this personal touch with with the, the future sellers. Just at least to, especially in countries with Germany, which where we are just very new in Germany, we just launched two month three months ago. So we also want you know 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 the people that are coming in, in our seller community, and we want to guide them through to make sure that they understand everything and that they, they don't have bad surprise. Uh, so basically, you apply to that. Then you're called back. We explain to you how to create your account, your seller account this time. We help you set it up um, and then you can go live. Uh, and going live is actually very easy. And this is what I think one of the strength of this, uh, of the platform compared to, I mean, it's, it's very easy, right? You, you just set up, you need, you need just a phone and a phone to stream. You can stream from your computer if you want. If you want to go, you know, the Twitch like um, or the YouTube like uh, se setup. But if you if you want to, you know, try fast and do it low key, you can just stream with your phone. Uh, you need a computer to to run your to read the chat and run the auctions uh, or the sales, and, and that's pretty much it. And then we give complete freedom to the to the sellers on when they want to do a live, what they want to sell, how much it does. So it's really there. Then it becomes their show. Mm -hmm. The idea is. We really want to, you know, set simple rules that obviously you don't insult people. <laughs> you obviously you set you you show the product uh, right. You just, I mean, you, you treat people with respect, basically. But but then out of that, it's your show. You do whatever you want. Your you just interact with the people you want. You can do your setup, etc. Et and it's very easy to to sell. Yeah, I, I can confirm that because I go one time through this process. Um, I had, or I think, five shows. Dennis was also one of our uh, guests. Big winner. I was a big winner on your show, Mark. <laughs> yes, exactly. <Nice. laughs> and uh, the, the good thing you before you had the chance to also make a test uh, stream so yep. that you're not uh, now it's live, but you can before test it. And it's very easy to to um, yeah, make the setup. So I, yeah, I think I, we, we, try, we try as much as possible 
able to really guide the sellers through their first show to help them. Uh, obviously, it takes a bit of time, but I think that's that's also important. Uh, and what we see, and that is super cool, is now you see, and we see it more in France because it's we are older, but you also see it everywhere. It's people can can ask other sellers, oh, how did you do it? How did you do that? And you see like you you see a sense of community and help uh, because it's not so much like okay, we're all competitors or whatever. It's like the first thing is you're all passionate, right? Mm. And if you're on the platform, it's because you're passionate about the cards, the, whether it's sports card, Pokemon card, vintage fashion sneakers or whatever. Obviously, you're here to, to make a bit of money, to sell because you want to reinvest in your collection, etc. But at the, the the primary thing is everybody's mm. passionate. So everybody's very, you know, helpful to each other. And, and I think that's quite cool. Yeah. Well, I don't know if everyone knows it, but, but also uh, who d doesn't know the, the platform, now you can also bid on product. It's not just you show the product and buy it. So you also have this kind of eBay feeling that you said, start the auction with one euro and then um, you decide what you want to pay. So I like this very, and that's the product set up. I always, I have also an e-commerce shop and to make the product set up and make the picture, the product description and so on and so on in uh, there, it's very easy. Just one line set the price. Yeah, I think that's exactly. I think that's one of the strength and what people really like is because the, again, with the video solve all of this kind of issue that you were saying, like if you want to show, you know, the card in a really good way. So you want to show the front, the back, the corner, uh, the little you know silver lining the, the, the all of this kind of the silvering etc that you want that you want to show it's very if you if you want to take pictures it's going to take you know 10 pictures with the you know heavy lights etc well when you do it with the video you can do it in 30 seconds you don't need to prepare anything and you can just then just launch launch the auction as you said or the fixed price you decide and people can just buy if they want can buy at the right price and, and i think that's that's something that people also like is you can sell a lot of items in a very short span of time because you know that in one hour you can sell you know i don't know 15 20 30 items and that actually that brand yeah. that people really like yeah yeah I, I i think that the hobby community is a perfect space for this kind of business model because like you said it's about passion and but it's also about um being nice and kind to each other and what we experience here in germany is that the the hobby community is very fair very honest very helpful yeah. With each yeah, other, exactly. there's no no beef or anything. Yeah, and that we I think we something that we that we really saw from day one in uh, in France, and we see it in Germany, we see it in the UK, in Spain, in Netherlands. Really, like as you said, like hobbyists are really passionate people, and and they really want to help each other. They want to protect each other. They want. So obviously, sometimes like not everyone is agrees with everything, but like there is this common feeling of. We're all here for the same thing, which is, you know, everybody wants to complete a set. Everybody wants to have, you know, the team wants to have the whatever. And I think that's when you see when people open, you know, they when they break uh, boosters pack or this kind of thing, people are very happy when someone else wins the, the rare card or whatever. They are happy for him or her or her. And I think that's that's what is really, really cool. And that, again, the, one of the reasons of, uh, of of our not, not success, but our early good signals, let's say, is that people really enjoy, you know, sharing this moment together because as you said uh, marcus like during covid etc we kind of you know lost touch and it's hard to meet you have less and le less and less you know gathering etc so you you don't have this moment where you can just sat you know sit with your friends and just open a box of prism cards or whatever and this now you can do it unboxed because it's, it's something you can do and that's i think uh, quite quite fun yeah uh, i agree what, what about uh, the the is there a collector Kevin as well, or is there just the business Kevin which uh, has connection to, to coll collectors? Or is... uh, so that's a, that's a funny uh, that's a good <laughs> question, um, a funny question. So I, I wouldn't initially I wouldn't I wouldn't have called myself a collector. Um, so we, I, I said we started with Pokemon and. And it's something that I've already liked, I always liked. Uh, I was playing Pokemon when I was younger. I always, I've always been kind of a gamer, uh, and I'm also in, you know, this. I'm big fan of anime, of manga, so I read a lot of these kind of things, etc. So it, it's it's an universe that I liked, but not so much of a collector. That being said, when we started, obviously, you know, first life, second life, you you buy things because you want to support your sellers. You buy things because you want to test your product. I want you to know, you know, is everything working? Um, is the seller shipping in a good condition? Because I want also to make sure that we have the right sellers for the right for our community, etc. So I, I was, you know, starting buying things, etc. And, and and at the end, like after six months, I was re realizing, okay, I'm I'm buying a lot, <laughs> but a lot of bit of everything, you know. So it doesn't really make sense. And, and then it, I kind of have, you know. Rem 
re it reminded me of what I liked when I was playing Pokemon. And I remember like a couple of Pokemon that I really liked. And I said, okay, actually what I want is I want to have a collection of these specific Pokemons. And I think since then I've bought, you know, like 30 or 40 of these cards, very specific ones. And I'm trying to, you know, complete my set. So again, I was not at the beginning, but I'm starting to become. And I think now I'm very happy when I know, you know, I'm kind of picky about my collection. And, and I have a couple of sellers that, you know, text me everything. <laughs> Every time they will sell something on the light. Like, Earlier this yesterday morning, I received a, a message from one of our sellers. Say, oh, I'm, I'm going live on on Wednesday. Look, look what I got for you, and like, and 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 you can count on me. I'm gonna be there tomorrow tomorrow evening, and I'm gonna bid on the cards for sure. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, I'm, yeah, the Kevin collector is actually growing up, and uh, and that quite and I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. You know, when like this feeling of when you bought something and you just you can't you you wait you know two three four days for it to be you know uh delivered to your mailbox and then you open you open the the envelope like it's it's super very very like i'm i'm like a child when i open the <laughs> and i haven't received anything in the past i think three four weeks and i start to feel you know, anxious about it so now i want to <laughs> i want to go back in the field so. <laughs> what are you collecting guys on your like do are you collecting like, specific things specific players specific teams or like how do if I can. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, the the or the bad thing is uh, it's a lot of sports. It's basketball, football, uh, soccer. It, now it's also a bit uh, ice hockey, so it it's very broad now. Yeah, uh, what yeah there is no end to that. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it not easier, but there's. Um, I, I think that's also it's a long story now, but now short. The graded moments. It's also a reason why you have a connection to 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 the cards and maybe some special moments when you buy the cards, but also mm. to the players on the cards. And there's one basketball player in the NBA now, not anymore. Now he's back in Germany. He, he played in the uh, National Basketball League in um, NBA, but uh, he's from Frankfurt, where I live. For, and so this is okay, the, so the so personal this connection. Yeah, collection exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm uh, collecting uh, LA Clippers uh, because I was living in Los Angeles for oh, for nice. a while, and when I was moving there, um, I'm I'm a '90s guy, so of course you cannot be a Lakers fan if you were a Bulls <laughs> fan before, so that's not an option. And the tickets were not affordable for me at the time uh, to go to the Lakers, so the Clippers became my team. <laughs> so that's nice. why. I, collect clippers but i also collect like i don't want to call it weird stuff but i i'm collecting stuff that like it's not that obvious like stadium magazines mm. uh, posters like all the random stuff that you maybe find on ebay or flea market or whatever so i think that's that's what is really cool with uh with the collector and the and these hobbies and i met a lot of a lot of collectors around the the past year and a half is like everybody has his own story you know behind why he's collecting like at the end of the day everybody's gathering because they are collectors but the story of how do you get how do you become a collector is very i mean i have people you know they're they're collecting they were buying for their children and at some point they become in love with the cards that they were opening for the children and now they're collecting for themselves and this kind of thing and that's actually super super fun it's uh, everybody has like his own story right yeah that's that's what we have in the podcast too we like here in germany you have a lot of yeah, people guess, who who started in the 90s when NBA basketball was on TV for the first time. And suddenly Upper Deck had the NBA uh, trading cards and they were at every kiosk, every gas station. You could get those cards. So a lot of people have that story. A lot of Pokemon collectors too, Magic the Gathering. A lot of people made their own uh, business now, online mm. shops. Uh, several people opened a store. Uh, we had people who who do big card shows over here. We had a big card show in Munich uh, yeah. when when we had this NFL uh, a game in Germany. Then two weeks later, we had the first trading card show at the Comic Con in Stuttgart. So yeah, it's becoming it's, more and more of a thing, right? Yeah, it's it's growing and growing, but becoming more and more. So so, what are the plans for for Vogt? Are you rolling out in other countries, or what's the what's the? No, idea? I think. So in, in the next month, what we're really going to focus on is really focusing on the countries we are in and the market we are in. So the, the five markets I was mentioning and the categories I was mentioning. So trading card games, sports cards, uh, fashion and sneakers are basically, obviously, like other categories, people can keep on, people can, can sell. But I think our focus is really to serve this community well. Um, and what we don't want to do is we don't want to do the mistake of, you know, trying to do too many things at once and then doing nothing right. So it's better to be um, to be good in what we're doing. And, and for that, we want to be focused. Um, I think the level of expectation of users um, 
in every country is very high again because you're talking about passion so when you're passionate you're very intense um and, and that i think we it's something we learned i mean we knew but we learned and confirmed very early on and and that really driving us is we want to we want to deliver good value and and a good product and a good platform for whether it's sellers or buyers but also viewers people who just here you know to just have fun and enjoy uh, i think that's that's very important so this is really our focus in making sure that that we serve our communities in these countries well and i think as you as, as you said like things are evolving the markets are becoming bigger and bigger so there are a lot still to do we are still very early and we're very humble around that is we have long time in germany we launched you know in september it's like it's inf mm -hmm. infancy of the company but even like even in france if you think one year one year and a half is still very very young so i think there are a lot of things we can we can improve and we need to improve and i think that's that's going to be our focus for the for the following month mm. Mm. yeah i have that uh, feeling as well and and uh was more in with uh you have a very good support here in germany also uh, max is there a very uh, good uh, speaking person and also you have the feeling uh you yeah it's test also still of course you're not so long on the market that you also still develop uh, and learn exactly. from the customer feedback um and yeah a good example of that is for instance when we launched we didn't have paypal as a as a payment option mm -hmm. um and we knew it would be complicated but we also we had two choices basically it was waiting like waiting i don't know we didn't know when paypal would be available because it was not really depending on us it was depending on on paypal itself on on, on other platforms etc so we had either the choice of not do, not doing nothing and wait, or just going, trying, and just you know learning from the market. So we decided the first option because the second option, which is going, even though we we didn't have PayPal, and I think was that was very interesting because I mean confirmed it confirmed to us that we really need PayPal, but it also allowed us to learn a lot from the German specificities, what people were willing for, you know what what do they what do they like, what do they don't like, etc. etc. Uh, it helped us, you know, set up the team, and then we launched PayPal because it was the main feedback from the from the from the team and from the from the customers, and we launched, you know, a month later. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's yeah, that's there's still a lot to learn. There are things that are common to every countries. There are things that are specific to certain countries, but we still need to do them. So I think it's a lot of things to to unpack and to 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 go there but yeah it's uh, i mean it's it's fascinating right because uh, again a lot like you have a lot of countries you have a lot of communities inside because it's not the same thing like even though you're a collector collecting fa vintage fashion sports cards or, or sneakers it's still different so you have different needs so you need to learn from all of these communities and that's what we're trying to do mm -hmm. uh, and then obviously develop other things for 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 these communities yeah yeah. I, I, the, the topic was, uh, I work for a soccer company here in, in Germany and a soccer club, not <laughs> soccer club. <laughs> um, and nice. uh, there was also the, the, we had also the, I, I want to initiate that we have there also the kind of uh, life, life. And that was the question. How do you call it? Is it live? Because when I say, talk about, I always tell them it's home order television in internet, uh, or that the people yeah. ask me then this, um, is there a, a, a calling naming for this? Is it stream shopping? Is it live stream shopping? I think it's, yeah, it's either live shopping or live stream shopping. I would say we yeah. usually say live shopping. I think mm -hmm. that would makes or live commerce. If you want to say like larger, um, one way we, we sometimes use to, to make it very, um, very easy for people to understand and, and you know using the big names out there is kind of twitch meeting ebay mm -hmm. uh, i think kind of things because you have the live the live aspect of twitch and the the, the e-commerce aspect of ebay uh, mm -hmm. but i think yeah lives is for for us it's like live live shopping yeah. uh, and i think that's like like the core of what we do is is around that is around li live and and live is the video but it's also the sound of the fact that you that you speak and the fact that people can write to you and, and that you can also write to them back so it's like really this live in the sense that everything happens you know during that that moment yeah Very good to know Noted. yeah I, I i also like the the platform i'm i'm i think thanks a lot it's time it's time for me <laughs> to 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 sell everything here including my mother's washing machine <laughs> uh, we'll be there we'll be there no worries <laughs> i think it's uh, i think shipping is not going to be that easy but <laughs> i'm not sure it's going to go in if, the mailbox but <laughs> if somebody buys my mother's washing machine i'm going to bring it to the person <laughs> it's no problem you want to see the <laughs> you want to see the collectors of washing machine <laughs> <laughs> yeah very cool so yeah thank you thank you so much for taking the time for for us and and really good luck with with this uh with this I mean, with this company thanks a lot for for having me again uh, thanks for the people who are going to listen to 
to to me and uh, and sorry if my my English or my accent is not not that understandable. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was pleasure having you. Pleasure talking to again passionate and fascinating people. And congrats for all what you've done. I mean, you said you were, we were telling me you were seventieth episode, seventy six, I mean, seventy seven something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's 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 huge i mean i guess i guess you have now like galaxy of connectors it's like amazing actually so, yeah. i i think we had the i don't know you you mentioned the french french podcast uh maybe it, they, they were also in our podcast already the podcast uh yeah was, exactly yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Were, uh, yeah. i did a podcast with them and they actually also did a live uh, a charity live on the platform mm -hmm. they did it from our office it was super cool Mm -hmm. Super good guys, honestly. Uh, again, like, I mean, I think it's they. They told me like it's much smaller. The market is much smaller, and the community is much smaller in France than in than it is in Germany or or in the UK. But it's becoming something, and uh, yeah. and yeah, it's it was it was quite cool to meet them. They were yeah. super good guys. Great guys, very active, very passionate yeah. too. Yeah, it's good good guys yeah, and very knowledgeable. Like they 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 know a lot of things, and and I think at the end of the day, that's also something that I really love when when I talk to collectors is. Like you have people that have so much knowledge about, you know, around the history of cards, history of things. And that's, that's, you know, you can, you can, you know, sometimes you can just listen to people that are telling you the story behind, behind an item for like four hours. And that, that's fascinating. I think so. mm -hmm. it's yeah. super cool. I agree. Great. So, great. Have a great 2023. You uh, too, guys. I mean, it's, it's nearly again. done, but, uh, <laughs> but, but we, we get, we get through it. So <laughs> greetings to, to Paris. And uh, yeah, whenever yeah, whenever you need help in in Germany, call Marcus. <laughs> exactly. I, I will. I will. I will have Max calling you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'll see you on live. Uh, I'll I'll pass by on your live. Yeah. For sure. Thank you very much, Kevin. Thank bye you bye. Guys. <laughs> bye.